It was the deadliest drunk driving incident in American history. The 1988 Carroll County bus crash claimed 27 lives, most of them children. Today, a survivor brought his message of hope to the Bullock County Alternative School. WLKY's Corey Pippen is here with a story. Corey? Vicki, it's been 26 years since the crash, and survivor Quentin Higgins still gets emotional recounting what happened that night, but he does so in hopes that it never happens again. For students at Bullitt County Alternative Center, Quentin Higgins' life experiences are lessons. And the night that changed his life forever was the main subject. I don't want people to forget. You know, I want to remember the 27 that died. You know, I want to represent the 40 of us that survived. You know, we all still have a hard time talking about it. Higgins spent May 14, 1988, on a school trip at Kings Island. His bus was headed home on I-71 in Carrollton when drunk driver Larry Mahoney drove into its path. The head-on crash ruptured the fuel tank and set the bus on fire. 27 people died, including Higgins' best friend, 15 year old Anthony Marks. I had uh, second and third degree burns on my hands and arms. Uh, had a real bad burn across my neck from a chain that melted into my neck. Uh, my lungs got messed up. I stayed in Coastal Children's Hospital for about a month. Uh, for two weeks, my parents didn't know whether I was going to live or die. But Higgins lived, moving on but never forgetting. He refurbished a bus to help spread his message. As Higgins spoke to the students, he passed out pictures, showing them what drunk driving can do and who it can take away. Drinking and driving is a huge, huge thing still. And young people run into it every single day. You know, weekends throughout the week, you know, they're going to parties or people in school are doing it. And uh, the raw story of the Carrollton bus crash, you know, one man's bad decision killed 27 kids. I want to get out here and talk about it. You know, it's part of my healing process is what people say, but uh, really I, I just, I want people to know about it. So, because uh, it's, it's important still, always will be. Now Higgins says he plans to continue speaking on the dangers of drunk driving. He says he considers it's God calling for his life. I'm Corey Pippen, WLKY News.